10 Best Places to Visit in Zambia So if you're thinking about traveling to Africa but aren't sure where to go, I've got you covered. There are so many different countries that offer beautiful landscapes and amazing wildlife. In this video, I'm going to show you the 10 best places to visit in Zambia. You might not have traveled the world yet but don't worry, these are sites that you won't forget. Plus, they're all within reach so why not give them a try? Be sure to hit that subscribe button for more videos on the best places to visit in the world. Leave a comment saying subscribe. I will try my best to reply to as many comments as possible. Here are the 10 best travel destinations in Zambia. The beautiful town of Saivanga has made a name for itself as one of Zambia's top vacation destinations. Cascading down to the banks of Lake Kariba in a mosaic of acacia trees, palms, rosewoods, and forest figs. It is dotted with top-notch hotels that have relaxing terraces and cafes that look out over the lake while boats bob in the distance and the Zambezi Valley's hills erupt across the horizon. On this, the largest reservoir in the world, you may engage in a ton of water sports and leisure activities, and Saivanga itself is surrounded by lovely beaches and walking paths. Some of the Victoria Falls' most striking and distinctive features can be seen in Muzi Owatunya, the legendary smoke that thunders. It is understandable why that section of Zambia's magnificent river has been designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site as it is the second largest single cataract on the planet. And it's even simpler to understand why quite a lot of visitors rush to this part of the country every year when you take into account the populations of white rhinos and golden giraffes, zebras and the occasional elephant that also tread this way. For the slender platforms of the Knife Edge Bridge that arcs over the actual falls, you'll need sturdy walking boots and a courageous disposition. Kasanka, a little location in the heart of Zambia near the DRC's southwestern border, gives a unique look at the region's wildlife. Mongooses and pangolins prowl the countryside, and hartebeest and sable antelope congregate in the green meadows. While the so-called Big Five game may be scarce or non-existent here, there are other, more specialized opportunities to experience the continental ecology. These include meandering boat trips and fishing excursions on the Luwumwa River, stalking Saitatunga antelope through swamps, and some of the most incredible bat migrations ever recorded. Lusaka is a bustling city of mercantile types and where Zambia's entrepreneurs and go-getters congregate in pursuit of opportunities. Locals barter their way through the goods in its marketplaces, such as the expansive Soweto market with its potpourri of shamanist and second-hand auto part vendors, which are awash in talk. Minibuses rumble over the tarmac roads, and many of the corners are marked with brand new high-height building projects, a sign that this metropolis is on the rise. Both the informative National Museum exhibits and the intriguing Cathedral of the Holy Cross in the city center are worthwhile visits. The Nzumbu National Park provides a diversified and captivating introduction to the Central African hinterland, spanning from the sandy coasts of Lake Tanganyika to the hills covered in scrub of the nation's northern province. Due to the introduction of gravel road connections to Kawambwa, it has just recently become a prominent tourist destination, making it somewhat of a wild card safari option. Elephants can often be spotted meandering through the swamps at Kasaba Bay, while the meanders of the Lufabu River are home to everything from water buffalo to snapping crocodiles. The South Luangwa National Park is located in eastern Zambia, and is one of the locations of the renowned walking safari. Elephant herds, hippos, innumerable buffalo, long-necked giraffes, and other animals traverse its Miambo forests and undulating savanna grasslands. The diversity gives it the feel of a classic African landscape, and the presence of lion prides only enhances that impression. With pastoralist guides by your side, you may explore the hinterland while learning all there is to know about animal tracking, anti-poaching, and conservation. The oldest national park in Zambia is Kofu National Park. It is a fantastic delight for those looking for a genuine African safari experience out of all the parks in Zambia. It is still one of the largest protected wildlife areas on the continent, and while does the biodiversity speak for itself, it is almost 20,000 square kilometers in size, you can witness rare antelopes on the plains and the elusive cheetah, which is quite uncommon in this area, prowling through the riverine forest. African wild dogs can be seen on the grasses patrolling their areas with elephants, there are an estimated 4,000 of them here, monitor lizards, and other animals. It's all very off the charts awesome stuff. The Lower Zambezi National Park surrounds one of Zambia's more remote wilderness areas, which is still unaffected by the onslaught of major ecotourism and safari travel. The 4,000 square kilometer region is noted for its extensive floodplain and is comprised of a patchwork of muddy banks and Miyambo Gallery woodlands. In order to drink and eat, groups of lions, elephants, buffalo, and leopards gather in this seasonal wetland. 
a 4x4 or chartered flight link is absolutely necessary to go to Lower Zambezi because it can't be reached by paved roads, this is a terrific opportunity to explore the southern Zambian wilderness, the magical wonders of the Blue Lagoon National Park can be found just 100 kilometers outside of Lusaka. This enormous floodplain reserve, perched atop the Kafu Flats, alternates between a cracked and sunbaked desert in the dry season, and a green watering hole when the rains arrive. Most guests will arrive when the sparkling waters start to swell. They travel there in anticipation of spotting uncommon birds in the acacia tree canopies that cover the little oxbow lakes and lagoons. Or they visit the forest to gaze in awe at the dancing lechwe antelopes, the Sayomangwetsi reserves are currently recovering after being ravaged by unchecked poaching in previous decades. In recent years, African elephants have made a comeback, attracting occasional crowds of tourists once more. There are currently said to be 3,000 of them here, mostly concentrated on the park's southern side. In addition, there may be a chance to see a rare cheetah in addition to the normal kudus and impala. Additionally, there are numerous opulent safari lodges to enjoy here, all of which are near to the Nganye Falls cascading waters, 